Hey, welcome back to the Improvement Channel. Today we are working on a trailer that's going to hold a pressure washer setup. So, uh, one of the things that I wanted to make sure and get fixed, this used outfit that I've got needed quite a bit of work, but I had some stuff I was very excited about. One of the things being this reel here. So I'll, I've got two of these, and these are rather expensive. I'll go over kind of what this build costs, what I got the trailer for and everything, but um, I'm finding these to be running somewhere between $300 and $500 a piece. I've got two of them, and, and the trailer and the pressure washer, it's on the pressure washer. Um, it's also going to have a tank. It came with it. I got all this and this trailer. Let me show you kind of what the setup was like. These reels didn't even make the ad due to them being broken. So we had this mounted right here. There's two holes down here. This had a U-bolt through it. Uh, had this piece on it and had a it, it made a little makeshift uh, bracket up here to kind of hold this on. But this metal is so thin I can I can bend it right here on the trailer. So. This, this did not work uh, in any way, but I got the bushings out of this. And let me show you over here. I've got one of them put together, and then I'll show you putting one of those together. So I'm gonna show you kind of how this goes together. There's a bushing just like this, which I don't know where you can get these anywhere. So, I'm, and I'm actually missing one, so I'll I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do about that but I've got a bushing pushed up in the bottom here already. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in so you can see it being done. It's got a little slot right here to put where the pipe seam is. So what I did is I went to the, the big box and got some inch and a quarter black iron pipe. The black iron pipe is the same size on the inside. It's a little thicker, well actually it's quite a bit thicker wall and that part doesn't really matter. Uh, it's actually to our advantage but the inside is the main thing. So let me hammer this in. Washer that goes on top here. fits in extremely snug. I've even got some spray lubricant on it. Okay, good. I did not push the bottom bushing out. Good anyway. Okay, so we're through. Okay, so what we have is a piece here that will turn and drop into a hole. So what, I'm, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll drill some holes in this angle iron and I'll have some different locking positions. Okay, so when, and then once there's holes in there, what you do is you pick up on this and turn it to the side and it's where it don't touch. So you can swivel it where you want it, pick it up, drop it into the hole, click into the hole, it's done. All right, and then what you can do, same thing here, this turns and locks so now we can get our hose wound in. It's even got a feed guide down here below, okay? And then whenever it's time for travel, you just pull this and turn it, and it drops into the hole as well. So the two pieces can be locked, like say right here, and put your gun over here, you're ready for travel. Nothing's going anywhere. I've got two of these, so let me show you how I welded up over on this side, kind of how I got there. There was a U-bolt that went through this. I'm going to see if it's laying here somewhere. I don't see it. But you had a U-bolt that held this on. And I've actually straightened this out some. You can see where it was bent a little bit. These reels with hoses on them become rather heavy. And when they're bouncing down the road, unsupported, the next thing, well, I mean, with this support, next thing you know, this is bending, things are breaking, blah, blah, blah. So. My solution, there's a reinforcement already on this side here. 
So what I did was I took a piece of flat bar and ran from the top of this to the bottom of this. Now we're going to have a piece that comes out of the bottom that's going to swivel around. Okay, so we need to have that free. And with this piece we can. So now there's nothing for this to bend on because it's attached down here and up here and there's a there's a support on the other side so if this goes anywhere I'll be super surprised so I've, I've put a weld on uh, both sides of this pipe onto the flat iron so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld this on that's not the piece we're gonna weld two pieces on, on here okay I've got this notched out and notched out around the pipe so I will lay down a bead through here and around the pipe, do it on the other side, and then put a piece across the other end, and that's how it'll look like the other, the other side. All right, so I'm going to tack both of these pieces on, then we'll proceed to weld them. bit of grinding and that'll look just like the other side. That's how you do it. So now I'm going to cut that right below where this bushing is going to be so the bushing can seat all the way in there. I've got my Makita grinder out with a cup wheel with a twisted uh, wire on it. 
this cup wheel was getting a little bit worn part way through the project. I stopped and went and bought another one and, and kept going. But the idea here is just to remove any of the uh, excess paint, all the pin striping off of it, uh, rust, things like that. I, I just got out my little knee pad, rolling knee pad, to make things a lot easier on my knees. But uh, you can see me going through here. This took quite a bit of time to get everything the way I wanted it and ready for paint. So really all I have left now is to uh, work on getting the lights put on. I'm going to do that off camera. And on the next part, we will be doing the paint. So look forward to seeing you there. Now that I've got this all brushed down, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make the holes in this. I'm going to start off with a smaller drill bit and make the holes after I set the two reels in. So I'm going to do it here and over there so that everything is uh, ready to paint. I really hope you're enjoying this build. I know I sure am. Look forward to you watching me do the paintwork on it. Also, take a minute to subscribe and like so that you can make sure and catch the next one. Uh, turn on your notifications and it'll let you know as soon as that one is released. Uh, we're going to wrap it up on the next part, so see you then.